Hi guys, this is Line6David, and today I'm going to take you through setting up and installing your Pod Studio device. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Pod Studio UX2. Keep in mind that the setup will be the same whether you have a UX2, UX1, GX, DI, KB37, or UX8. Let's look at what comes in the box. So, we have our UX2, a USB cable, a Pod Farm disk, but before we start installing software, let's make sure the device is properly connected to our speakers. If you have a set of powered studio monitors, simply connect a balanced or unbalanced quarter inch cable from the analog outs on the back of the UX2 to the input of your studio monitors. Now we have seen some cases where users use a Y cable to connect the UX2 to the input of their sound card. This can cause all sorts of latency and pops and clicks, audio problems, so it's not recommended. You need to connect to a set of powered speakers. Now you can use an adapter um, in order to use a set of multimedia speakers, which is what a lot of our users do. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, as you can see, it's an eighth inch plug, and we're just going to take a quarter inch adapter and plug it right into the headphone jack. And this is fine, it's line level, uh, should sound great with your multimedia speakers. Okay, and don't plug in the USB just yet. Let's go ahead and install our software. Now here's our Pod Farm installation disk. This is what comes with most of our Pod Studio devices. Now you're not going to want to install from this disk unless it's absolutely necessary. If you have an internet connection, then you're going to want to use that to download the latest and greatest software from Line6.com, mainly because the software on here could be out of date and it could cause some problems. So let's go to the Line6 website, and here it is. And I'm going to show you how to navigate this. We're just going to go up here and sign in first. And now we're going to go over here and go to our downloads page. And you see these three drop downs. So I'm, I'm using a UX2. So you just select your device. You'll select Pod Studio UX2. Go to software and go to Pod Farm 2. Same thing that was on the disk and just click the go button. It's going to fill in our operating system for us. Scroll down a little bit and we're going to go and click get download. And agree to that. And save the file. And just wait for this to load. Once it's done, you're just going to double click on the Pod Farm 2 icon in your downloads window. And click Run Again. So we're going to wait for this to load up. It takes just a few minutes. And now this package is going to install our drivers, Line 6 Monkey, License Manager, Pod Farm 2, so it's an all inclusive package. We're just going to click next here through the installer. Okay, and this is the reason we didn't plug in our USB cable just yet. We're going to scroll down through here. And I'm going to make sure that the drivers for my UX2 are selected. In most cases they are, but just check to make sure. And if you're on Windows, it might ask you to do the C++ update. That's fine. Just let it do its thing. It's telling us where we're going to install it, so just next. And next one more time. 
can install all of our drivers. There we go. And that's just telling you it's going to put uh, an icon on the desktop. Okay, and we're good to go as far as our installation. Now let's connect our USB. So here we see the USB port. We're just going to plug that in. And we're going to plug this to the back of our PC. Okay, so the connections on the back of your computer are really the best ones to use. They're the nearest the power supply, and there's less of a chance that they'll be underpowered and cause problems. Okay, and if everything went well, then you should see the meters on the front of your Pod Studio device light up. If you get this, this clip, the clip lights going back and forth, or a red light if you're using, for instance, the UX1, then it means that the, the drivers did not install successfully. And so you want to go back and reinstall those drivers. Okay, and so now we have everything installed. And I just wanted to show you this. Now at this point, we have everything installed, we're still not authorized. And this is where a lot of people get confused. So if you click on Podfarm, it's going to give you this message telling you that it sees the Pod Studio device, but you haven't authorized yet. And so, what you need to do next is run the License Manager, and that's what's going to authorize your add-ons, and it's going to authorize your Pod Studio device to work with your computer. So you can either do it here, with License Manager, or there's a few other places. If you go to Programs, and then Line 6, and then Tools, you can access License Manager. And because it's a recently installed uh, piece of software, you can also get to it here. So I'm just going to, yeah, I closed out of Pod Farm, and now I'm going to go here to License Manager. And so the first thing you want to do is log in. I'm already logged in here. And now if we look, our computer and the UX2 both say that they're not authorized. So we're going to have to authorize these um, in order to get everything to run correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and authorize the computer. There we go, and you'll see all of your model packs and add-ons come up. I have quite a few here. You might have more, might have less, depending on the device. And UX2, I'm going to click Authorize. And now you see all of those add-ons. It's going to put up that exclamation point, tell you that they need to be installed. So the hardware needs to be programmed. So just click the install button. And it's going to go through and program hardware. Okay. And we're going to disconnect and reconnect our Pod Studio device. Let's see, go away, and then it's going to come back up. Click OK there. And now, if I go over here, I'm just going to see everything is authorized. I see Pod Farm 2, I see all of my model packs. I'm just going to close out a license manager. Now, if we run Pod Farm, see that everything is cool. You have access to all of your amps and all of your effects and your presets and stuff. And so now the only other step is to just plug in and jam away. And again, this is Line 6 David. You guys have a great day and have lots of fun jamming out with your Pod Studio device. Until next time.